For one of the most natural, comfortable and efficient ways to heat a home, choose a radiant heating system from Esswire. Developed over 60 years ago to suit the colder conditions of Scandinavia, Esswire heating systems are now widely available in New Zealand and Australia. Esswire utilises the natural effect of radiant heat in much the same way as the sun's rays heat the earth. Heating elements inside the floors and ceilings heat up these solid surfaces and in turn warm the surrounding room. An SY radiant heating system provides a safe, clean and healthy environment with no drafts, noise or hot spots. And because SY heating systems are hidden in the floors or ceilings, they require no maintenance and free the home from cumbersome heating appliances. An SY radiant heating system is also one of the most cost effective ways to heat a home compared to most gas or heat pump systems. And this simply brilliant heating system is also simple to install. Over the next few minutes, you'll see just how easy it really is to install the comfort, convenience and value of an SY radiant heating system. Esswire under tile heating is the natural choice for warming tiled areas such as kitchens, bathrooms and hallways. Esswire under tile heating uses a slim heating element fixed to a flexible fiberglass grid which is laid over the area where tiles are to be installed. Key benefits of Esswire under tile heating systems are simple rollout installation, the advantage of mesh with fixed element spacing, super thin elements, excellent bonding to the floor by the tiler, completely hidden with no hot spots and an even spread of heat, no lost floor or room space, noiseless and draft free, prevents mould and dampness, suitable for various surfaces, no service or maintenance costs and a 10 year manufacturer's warranty. To install an SY under tile heating system, you'll need the following things. Detailed floor plans, electrical test equipment, a brush and shovel, a tape measure, pen, scissors, spray adhesive, insulation tape, SY selection charts and the appropriate SY product. The first step in preparing your Esswire under tile heating installation is to establish the correct type and amount of product you'll need. Measure the area you'll be working in first and check it against the house plans of the room. Make sure that you take into account any fixtures that are to be installed as the element must be laid around these fixtures, never underneath them. To correctly work out the heating loads required for the room is as simple as referring to one of Esswire's charts or design sheets. Heating loads are already pre-calculated for you, with the appropriate product selections noted as well. It's as simple as one quick look to establish what you need and to make the right product selection. The main component of the Esswire under tile heating system is the very slim single conductor heating cable attached to the flexible fiberglass grid. Each end of the heating cable is equipped with 5 metre cold leads. There are a total of 14 product size options, each with an area load of approximately 160 watts per square metre. Once you've made your selection from the design sheet, cross-check it with the product to make sure you have a match. Look at labels, cables and boxes to ensure you have the right type of SY product against the charted selection. Now ensure that you test the product before going further to confirm that the product is operating correctly and without electrical fault. A propriety insulation tester is the only way to be sure that faults don't exist and this testing process is vital before, during and after installation. It's also very important to note that the testing certificate supplied with each product must be checked off and used each time you test in order to qualify for the 10 year warranty. Before beginning, check the flooring base that you're working on. If it's concrete, you can move straight on to the installation process once the floor has been prepped. 
If the base is wooden, however, ensure that tile and slate underlay is installed before commencing. This will help stabilise the wooden floor and prevent cracking of the tiles due to flexing of the floor material. Also be careful to not damage or puncture the waterproof membrane on the floor base if one is present. Floor prep is an important first step. The floor must be as clean as possible and suitable for the tiler to continue working on after you, so take the time to brush and wipe it down thoroughly. A little forethought and planning at this stage will help everything else go smoothly. Know where you're going to start laying the element out from and remember that this is also the same point you'll finish at. Check the house plans again and identify in the room where the draw wire is and ensure that it's free to draw through the wall for your cold tails. Mark out that connection point again, noting that this is where both your start and end cold tails will meet. You're almost ready for installation now. As a final precaution, recheck that you do have the correct product by noting the cable label and testing certificate again. Firstly, have a test run at rolling out the mesh without cutting it. This will give you a feel for how much is required to give even coverage and to fit the room before you begin gluing. When rolling out, always be sure that the element is face down for correct installation. Once you're satisfied that you know how everything will be laid out, it's time to make the proper run. Roll out the mesh again, ensuring that the element is face down. Now with care, cut the mesh with scissors where you need to run it back past itself or at right angles. It's vital that you don't cut the cable, only the mesh. Move and place the cables in the correct positions and again, be wary to keep away from surface areas that will have fixtures installed later. For more complicated or smaller areas, the mesh can also be cut into bandage strips to fit and work around those tricky areas. It's also very important to note when laying out that the cables should never touch, cross or be less than 50 millimetres apart. Remembering the pre-planning that you did earlier, finish the laying of the cable mesh back at the same point you started from. That way, both start and finish cold tails are at the same position close to the draw wire connection point. Please also note that the cold tail joints which is the slightly thicker element portion near the end of the mesh, must remain in the tile area and not go up into the wall once connected to the draw wire. Now that the element has been completely laid out and fitted, it's time to fix it to the floor. Only use a trusted spray adhesive for gluing and fixing and allow yourself plenty of ventilation and fresh air while spraying down. Another advantage of Eswar under tile heating is that you don't need to completely cover the floor with adhesive. Using too much will in fact reduce the bond that the tiler will have on the floor and potentially create problems in the final stages of surface laying. Be sparing with the adhesive. Spray lightly around the frame of the cable mesh, ensuring that the border of each mesh is glued to the floor. It's vital that the adhesive is given time to fully dry. This short drying time allows the solvents to evaporate from the glue and give the best possible bond between the element and the floor. It only takes a few minutes to dry completely, with the easy test being that no glue should come away on your hands with contact. Once fully dried, work the sprayed areas with your hands. Press and smooth out creases in the mesh from around sprayed areas to finish with a good bond. One that looks nice and smooth at a part of the floor. When finished, there should be no ripples in the mesh. Then allow one last spray down the centre of the mesh where you've been working and repeat the drying and smoothing process. A floor sensor should also be used with under tile heating installations. It should be placed in between the rows of cable, not across the cable. The sensor should be recessed and where possible inserted into a tube or conduit. 
Now that everything has been permanently fixed to the floor, it's time to fix the cold tails to the draw wire and gently feed them up into the wall. Take care at this stage to not pull or tug on the wire too much. It's important again now for both safety and warranty requirements to retest the cables and record on the testing certificate to ensure that they have passed the installation undamaged. A final test is also then required after the tiles have been laid to again ensure that the tiling process itself has not damaged the under tile heating. Also remember to use the warning stickers provided so that no other trade walks over the elements prior to tiling. During the laying of tiles, a circuit test or alarm may be used. However, this can be misleading as not all damage will be picked up. The only sure way to know there's no damage is to check with a propriety insulation tester. The Eswa under tile heating is now completely installed and ready for the tiling process. Always make sure that the tiler knows to use an adhesive that will be suitable to use with a tile heating system. It's also worth noting that floor materials other than tiles can be used on top of S-wire under tile heating, as long as the element is covered by a 6mm layer of self-leveling compound. Please contact your S-wire supplier for further information. Finally, be aware of all safety and connection warnings. While installation can be carried out by any competent person, the actual connection to the mains power supply should be carried out by an electrician and comply with current wiring regulations. The cold leads are to be connected to 230 to 240 volts. Heating elements are not to be connected in series. Conductor continuity and resistance, as well as insulation resistance, is to be measured in accordance with the warranty form and noted both before and after laying on the warranty certificate. This warranty certificate should then be retained in case it needs to be produced for any claims in the future and to ensure warranty compliance. A residual current device is recommended and may be required under certain conditions to comply with wiring regulations. Congratulations! You now know how easy and efficient it is to install an S-Wire under tile heating system. Ensure that you also read the Easy Step installation instructions and if you still have any queries, call this number or your supplier before proceeding.